So in Japan, vending machines are everywhere. Actually, there was like some trivia question on one of our favorite podcasts, and they were asked, saying which country has the most vending machines, it's Japan. Because <laughs> every corner you go in Japan, there's always going to be a vending machine. Actually, just in this mall that we're at right now, at Eon, there's at least 50, I'm going to say. Yeah. yeah. Um, every time we like turn a corner, there's a vending machine. Yeah. They're always in front of bathrooms as well. So if you're trying to find one, go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> So we're just going to show you some of the cool vending machines that they have in Japan right now um, that's been around for years and years that they don't have anywhere else. So I'm going to show you one of our favorite ones, which is really cool. It's all touch screen. And the first time we saw this was a little over 10 years ago now, um, but now they're popping up everywhere. But the first time we saw it was in Tokyo and we were so amazed. What's great about these machines is like they actually give you suggestions on what you might want to drink or if there's a new item you know, they'll suggest a new item. And that's what's one thing that's really different about Japanese vending machines from American ones. Like American ones is always the same products, I feel like. And I just, I don't ever have the urge to grab something, but in Japan, they, the flavors are always changing. And of course they keep the classics, but they're always changing it up. So they always, they get a little bit excited checking out to see what's new in their vending machines. So let's go check out this one. It's one of the digital ones, so. You know, this one, they're, I've never seen this. This is something new. Also, there's commercials That's here. That's new. Advertisement on top. <laughs> that is something new that we've seen. So if you can't read the Japanese, no problem. They have English. So choose English. And what do you feel like trying, Crystal? Oh, they're recommending this one? <laughs> Um, okay, I'll go with your suggestion. Really? I you will, want what, coffee? Yeah, I'll, I'll try their coffee. Okay, Crystal says she'll try the coffee. Why is my voice getting high? I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. So I will take the recommendation. And then, you know, they'll double check if you're one of those people that can't really decide. Purchase this drink? Yes. Wow, that came out in half a second. <laughs> it was super fast. All right, so now I got this Georgia cold coffee. It's very cold. And then as far as like payment, they have what? Line pay, I didn't know they had line pay. Wow, they've actually added quite a bit. So there's different ways of paying, but if you're a visitor, the most likely way you're paying is either cash or the Suica card. So yeah. there's a, a Suica card where, I, I should have brought it, but I don't have it, but it's basically a card where you can top up and put money on it, so you can use that here as well, and this is where you would tap it. Mm -hmm. well, that's where you put bills, and then that's where you put change. And if you want change, you put this down. I was gonna get the Hello Kitty. This isn't green tea, what is this? Barley tea? Barley tea. Yeah, I was gonna get the Hello Kitty barley tea, but they're all sold out, all of them. I got it the other day. Yeah. It's popular. So this is a more traditional vending machine here um, that you'll see all over Japan. But it ranges, usually, it used to be like 100 yen, but they've raised the prices for the average price to be 130 yen for a regular drink. If you get a smaller can, it's like 110 yen. Uh, but they have, let's see, tea, milk tea, coffee, Mountain Dew, uh, lemonade, orange juice, water. They even have Monster Energy drink, which we've, we've been seeing this here and there. And I thought it was surprising that they had a Monster Energy drink in Japan. Uh, they also have more orange juice, melon soda. I love melon soda because they only have this in Japan too. They don't really have it anywhere else or I can't find it anywhere else except for Japan. And tomato juice, Red Bull. But my favorite is Orlamine C because it's like an energy drink um, and it has some vitamins and stuff, but it has a lot of sugar too. So you just have to be careful not to drink too much of this. But this is what I'm gonna get. So same thing, just put thousand yen in here. And then all the buttons will light up and I'm gonna get this one. And then your change comes out here. This 
vending machine here, it seems like it's for kids. <laughs> Are these like kids drinks? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen a vending machine just with this brand. It's like one selling those, only um, one brand. It's one of those squeeze ones. Oh, it's got like the, squeezy drinks. The, yeah, the fruit, the fruit um, squeeze drinks. I don't like those type of drinks. Yeah, me neither. But it's here. Yeah, it's, it's 180. Yeah. It's more expensive. It's more like jelly. Yeah. Yeah. And then over here is another. I feel like oh, so this one actually has the hot one. So if it's cold outside and you want a warm drink, if if you see where it's in red, these are warm. So the drink comes out really hot, which is fantastic in the winter time because no one, I never want a cold drink in the winter, so it's great. So usually in the winter time, there's more of a red than a than a blue. Um, I don't know if this one has translation. So that might be hard to tell if you if they don't have a translation that that means warm. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't want that one, but yeah. yeah so that one. So I guess not all machines have the translation, translation thing. So just some of them have it. This one this has one it, does have but it. there is no warm drinks in this one. Yeah. This is the same one we saw by the... Downstairs. Yeah, by the bathroom. But yeah, this one has more selection, like you can choose more here with the hot drinks. And that's the drink that Crystal wanted over there, but she wanted the Hello Kitty version. Not the Hello Kitty version. <laughs> so that one's the barley tea. And then over here is another regular one. Yeah. Same kind of stuff here. I, I kind of like am drawn more to the more um, touchscreen ones now. I feel like this is so ancient yeah, now. Yeah, like, this is old school. <laughs> like, why do they even have this here? But look, they have your barley tea here with the Hello oh, Kitty. Oh, they do. OK. They said it's limited to this vending machine, which uh, we just saw it in the other one. That's a so. lie. <laughs> we just saw it. This is interesting. They have a Red Bull Purple Edition. The what pure is that? Edition, the pur purple, purple Edition. edition. No. Never seen that before. From here, it looks like pure, like on the oh, yeah. But I was like, interesting. I've never. I'm not a Red Bull fan, so I've never heard of that. Okay, so that was just a quick tour of the vending machines here. Just wanted to show you like what some of the selections you can get, what kind of different vending machines there are now in this, uh, Japan. This is just drinks though. There's yes. lots more different types of vending machines. Vending machines are the thing in yes. Japan. Yes, and we're, we're in the suburbs, so I feel like when you go in the city like Tokyo, mm -hmm. they have even better vending machines. Like yeah. we said, they have ones that have descriptions on them. So yeah. if you're in Tokyo, I highly recommend just going to one of those touchscreen vending machines and just playing around with it. Cause yeah. it's so much oh, some of them even have questions and games. Remember? Which one? When we were at, went to Jay's wedding, it was uh -huh. asking a question. Oh, I don't remember Yeah, that. anyways. Um, so anyways, they have really fun ones. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.